Malami forced her to convert $40 million recovered loot at 305 Naira per dollar Keystone Bank. <laughs> Wonders shall never cease to end. These are the people who said they are fighting corruption here and there. Now these people, now they talk, say, then they fight corruption. But they are the worst corrupt, you know, government so far. They came with deceit. They are coming to, they are coming to change everything in Nigeria. They are coming to fight corruption. But they are the worst so far. Who dares challenges them? Nobody. They say now they get here, now they get knife. But they've forgotten that everything has time. As far as this life we are living today is not permanent. Wherever you are today, it's not going to be permanent because somebody was there before you came and somebody is still going to be there after you. They must give account to all this their evil. All this evil they have done to Nigerians, they must give account. AGF Malami has become a recounting decimal in office corruption, <laughs> impunities. In this present federal government, is anybody listening? Will they listen, my brother? What is the make we do? Will they listen? This man is the real financial bandit of Nigerian's treasure. <laughs> you can say that again. Success is one of the most difficult things to manage in life. Once it gets into the hands, and if not well managed, it becomes a monster. Isn't it true that power tends to corrupt? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Its usual portends danger when individuals who haven't elected by the people push aside the elected leader and are suddenly and indirectly playing leadership roles. They will not only undermine democracy, they will also abuse the chair they haven't the capacity to sit on. <laughs> this is the reason why. They sponsored a man who never passed any exam to search for his life. He sat for his life to be president, thanks to quota system. Buari cannot conduct a press conference. He can only read what people like Malami tells him to say. Malami is part of the Kaba, the kitchen cabinet, and won't be surprised a member of the Northern Malafia. He is one of the people that is making sure there is no peace in the country. It's all to cover his criminality. <laughs> Even what happened in uh, Odile South is clear indication that these people, they have nothing to offer Nigerians. They are full of uh, 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 evil atrocities these people have committed so far in this country. Just look at how he's disgracing himself in my uh, uh, Odile's uh, uh, raid, how uh, Odile's house raid. Even when the fake police he used to for the raid has said, You are the one that sent us, he said, It's not the person. But we are not surprised anyway because this government is full of lies. If you can remember what happened in Lekki Togate to today, they still they deny him. Nigerian army don't deny him, they not kill any person. Now, so they talk. Even waiting that they call that man, La Mohammed, that one, you know, say liar, now nah, nah, lie, 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 now nah, be in son name. You understand? That one have said it time without number that those things we saw, those videos, those people were bleeding, those gunshots we saw, you know, on social media are all tortured. Even when people who are victims of all these things came out to say, see, oh, see, gunshot, too. they shot me, that like it to get, whatever. This man still the denier. This government, Nigeria can never forget them in a hurry. This administration, this Buhari administration, we can never forget them in a hurry. Where are we going to start from? Is it insecurity we are talking about? That we are not even sure of our lives. All the recovered loot money where are they this is what they do this is what they do this is just small one no way we don't hear so all the abaja looted money where are they where are those money buari must surely give account one day buari and his cabinet must surely give account this evil they have you know 
unleashed on Nigerians. We can't even buy anything again in the market. You can imagine people are now selling one egg, 80 naira. Maybe from now to December, we'll be buying one single egg. We're going to buy it for 100 naira. <laughs> but if you talk, they go say, now, nah, uh, uh, Jonathan Regine, now nah, he cause all the problem when we they face. Honestly, these people matter. It's really very, very painful that we find ourselves, you know, in this. We don't even know how we are going to get that from here. That is the biggest problem, you know, that is just there. We are yet to know whose interest this Malami of a man is serving. They are pushing Buhari to travel up and down to enjoy his little, you know, stay. As president, why they are busy looting the country dry behind? Did you notice that this Shewu, Garaba Shewu, are not traveling with Buhari all this way? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Someone just dropped that. And at time, at a time when people are struggling to exchange for the same currency at right, 405 naira to a dollar, when I converted the whatever yesterday, I discovered that it amounted to the 4 billion naira, the comprehensive report of the criminal act was in yesterday's push. Punch, I beg your pardon, who is deceiving who? PDP's corruption is going to be Lena to APC. This government absolutely is wicked. And they have destroyed Nigeria completely. Nothing but this, this solution can save Nigeria. With all the criminal allegations against Malami, I am shocked he is still a serving minister in our dear nation. He runs the, in fact, everything in this government. In fact, he is the one holding the administration. What he did was right to the best of my understanding, you know, because if he remains nonchalant, the bank can exchange the money at lowest value of Naira. He said, so guys, these are reactions from most Nigerians who have reacted to this. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye. For <music>